right? We probably all had that experience with like all of the very many clothing retailers that are out there. You walk into a place that you've never seen before and you're thinking, is this for me? Like, is this the sort of thing that I would wear? And if they're putting the wrong things out front that don't speak to you, you're probably not gonna go into the very back and check. Like you'll just go to the next place in the mall. And online is very, very, very similar. Like you're very, very quickly trying to realize as a user, does this place speak to me? Does it have the sort of things that I want? Making the shopping experience really attractive is about much more than just the product detail pages. You know, it's about engaging content that tells the story and really helps customers to understand how to use the product, how to combine it and ultimately reach the goal that they came for. Because when I come to a brand, I'm not really looking for a red dress. I'm looking to look good at the next party. If you're using the right things, the most attractive things, not just the most relevant things, it'll give the users a better experience. It'll be able to build your brand better. And if you're looking at the bottom and top line, like it's making more revenue. And that's why we see leading brands turn to composable tools that um, really help merchandisers, marketers, and developers to pick the best tools that they need to easily integrate with each other. They can go in and they can really beautifully design and word um, this new product and they can make those changes within content stack. And then because of the integration, that information automatically would flow into Constructor and we're immediately searchable and those products are immediately surfaced. A major benefit of those composable tools is that you don't need to replace your core transactional engine. Rather, you can have a layer of engagement above that and really leapfrog your customer's experience in any channel um, and make it more attractive and de-risking the path to a composable stack in that way. If you're in a rush and you just want to see that revenue first, you can start off implementing content and search together and leave your commerce platform alone for now. Start to see those revenue lift from the two of these together and you can A-B test it and know that they're there. And then you can use that to fund the rest of your uh, transformation.